Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here we're going to be looking at your job states in XPM. Now when you first sign up to XPM, you're going to get given default job states which are planned, in progress, on hold, completed. Now uh, what we want to do is customize them and use them to determine what stage our job is in. So the way I do this is I break it out into three sections. The first section is for our annual accounts or our annual financial statements. The second section is for all of our billable work and the final stage is for our internal job. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you through how to set up the job states and then what I get you to do is go and set up the job states in your practice exactly how I have it set up in here. Uh, what you can do is move around, if you want to create some extra job states in the processes you can, but I'll also be covering which ones are key to keep consistent with what I've showed you because that is going to impact our billing reporting and the way that we uh, get our bills out at the end of the month. So Let's jump in and we'll check it out together. Okay, so to set up our job states, we're going to go to business and then down to settings. And then to job settings. And then finally over to our job states here. Now these are the job states that I have set up. So first what I'm gonna do is run you through how to create a job state and then I'll explain the ones that I have set up in here and the ones that you need to set up in your XPM. So to create a new job state, really easy, we just go add new job state and then we put in the name so I'm going to call this one 4.0 I'm going to call it test job state just so you can see what it looks like so what you want to do is have the state type as standard and then show in my jobs and schedule that's the default settings and you want to leave it at just like that and then hit save so that means it's going to be an active job state for an inactive job state I'm going to look at archived here that's going to be a job that is completed so you check that box and you leave it in scheduled but you remove it from my jobs so those are the two different states that we're going to use right, I'm just going to delete this one out now because I want to show you my actual list okay so what we've got here is uh, the first one is uh, not in so when our jobs roll over we want them to be created in a not in state so that means that we haven't collected the information yet from our client to complete their annual financial statements and tax return. So once we collect that information, we move it into the job in state, and then we move it into in progress, in review, finalizing. And once we've finalized, then what we'll do is our staff will move it into a ready for invoice state. And that's gonna be regardless whether they are on a service plan or whether they are on a time and cost or a quoted basis. They're always gonna go from finalizing, once the job's completed, it goes to ready to invoice. And that means it's gonna come into, a, it's gonna populate a list for us when we do our end of month invoicing so really important that we get these all set up correctly the last one there is complete and that complete status the difference between ready for invoice and complete is complete is going to let us know that the job has been completed but we haven't yet put it into the archived status so when it's complete it's still going to remain on our job list i'll just click in here and show you what i mean it's going to be standard and it's still going to show on our reports. The reason for that is we may have finished the financial statements and tax return, but we still have payroll or GST or quarterly coaching or all those other tasks that we have as part of their engagement. They are still active, so we don't want to archive the job just yet. So we leave it incompleted. At the end of the financial year, then we go through and archive all the jobs once the new ones roll over. So those are our states for our annual financial statement jobs or, or, or our... Um, our jobs that uh, for our engagement with our client. So then what we've got is our general billable work. So I've got it, I've kept it really simple here. You've got your general billable job. So when someone creates, so when the client contacts us and needs a cash flow forecast or they need a budget done or whatever it is, that's a general billable job. Or you know, they might spend an hour on the phone to us. Again, create a general billable job, apply the template and make sure that it's got the general billable uh, job state. And then we move it to ready for invoice once we've completed that work. And again, that's going to show on our report when we go to do our invoicing. Once it's been invoiced, we move it to the archived status. A bit like when we finished our invoicing on our annual jobs, we move it to the completed status. And that's going to be something that the accounts uh, administrators do. Right, and then the last one there is internal, and I've just left that at 3.0, and that's for our leave job. So any internal time or our leave, we leave it at that internal status. And at the bottom, I've just left on, hold, and cancel. Those are the two standard job states that uh, XPM will create for you. I leave them there just in case you want to use them for whatever reason. Cancel is really good in case you just want to just get rid of a job and not show on the reports. 
I've left cancelled there. But for the most part, uh, one through to three, those are the job states that you want to set up in your XPM. So uh, if you are currently got some job states set up, uh, I'd advise uh, moving them over to this now. So uh, if, you, uh, if you currently have job categories and things, uh, leave your existing categories and create the new ones that I recommend. But for your uh, job states, uh, I'd go through and update these right now. Uh, so when you go and do that, go and update the name that's gonna be most relevant for this list here. So hope that all makes sense. Go and do that now and I'll see you in the next video.